Today's episode is sponsored by Flex Seal. What's going on everyone? We are back on another episode of this Bennington Tritune Rebuild. This episode is gonna be mainly focused on the trailer. This trailer I bought for $500 and it was in very rough shape. If you know me, if you know my channel, I rebuild a lot of my trailers, pretty much all of them. Uh, rebuild them, make them custom, add LED lights in them. We're gonna be doing a lot of custom work to this trailer and making it look brand new again. In previous episode of this rebuild series, we replaced a lot of stuff to fix this trailer and make it actually functionable right now. We replaced pretty much all the cross beams, fixed a lot of the rust holes, added some more supports because the front end right here was actually bending so much under the weight of the pontoon and it actually wouldn't hold it up. But now it actually does after we added all the support in and got rid of almost all the rust. Some of the things I wanna to do to make this trailer work for this boat, one thing is I wanna build a ladder for up front here, that way we can have easy access to get up into it. Another thing is I wanna add some bunk covers, maybe some LED lights in them like normal from Gatorback.com. Lastly, we're gonna to have to paint this thing and hopefully prevent any rust from ever happening again. And that's where today's sponsor comes into play. This video is sponsored by Flex Seal. I'm gonna be using Flex Seal's Liquid Rubber Sealant Max to spray this whole trailer and prevent any kind of rust from happening. I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about Flex Seal and why I'm choosing to paint my trailer with it in a little bit, but first we need to get this boat off the trailer and then hopefully start digging into this rust and fixing the little bit rest of it. Maybe even work on building this ladder. So let's take this boat off and get to work.
We got the trailer down to the bones. Everything is prepped and ready for paint. We even got this ladder built. And I kind of mimicked my other trailer's ladder to, because I like the design. The only thing that's different is it doesn't have a grab handle or like a handrail. But it's no big deal. You can just grab right here and you'll be perfectly fine. But now it's time for paint. And I'm painting this trailer with Flex Seal's Max Spray. What I love about Flex Seal Max is it's so versatile. I've used it on multiple different things around the house. I fixed the leak in my car. I had a leak around the spoiler of my car and I just sprayed some of this on there and it fixed the leak. I had a bunch of water getting in there, had to fix that. Also, I have a leak in the roof of my trailer. I just went up in the roof and sprayed the crack where it was and now it doesn't leak anymore. <laughs> and now I'm gonna be painting my trailer with it. Now there's some preparation you need to do before you're spraying this. One thing is you need to make sure there's no rust or get all the rust off that you can. Sorry, I fixed all the rust on this trailer and I also grinded down some of the surface rust to make sure it gets a good sticking. You wanna make sure there's no grease or anything else on the trailer and make sure you wipe it down really good. Also make sure you're in a well-vented area where no sparks can light up, wear gloves, wear goggles, and definitely wear a mask. And how you want to apply this Flexo Max, you want to go in a sweeping motion from left to right or right to left, keeping about 8 to 12 inches away from the object you're spraying. That way it gets a good even coat. You're most likely going to have to give it multiple coats, but that's why we have the Max Can for more coverage. We have a tiny bit more prepping before we start painting this trailer with the Flex Seal. One thing is I want to tape up this grip right here and tape up this label right here. I think that's for the actual trailer information. So we want to tape that up and make sure it doesn't get covered by any means. I think it's going to turn out really good. And that is with the help of Flex Seal Max. Thank you so much to Flex Seal for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to painting this trailer.
This looks really good. It looks awesome. It looks like a brand new trailer again. The texture looks awesome. It covered really well. You don't see any tire stripes or anything in it. I thought it was gonna take multiple coats, but it only took one coat and it covered very well. Helps that most of it was already black, so you didn't really need a whole lot, but yeah, it still covered pretty well. Comparing it to my other trailer, my other trailer is actually galvanized and it's just regular steel. It needs something tougher to hold up to it. Galvanized metal doesn't really rust that fast at all. It has a good layer of protections. So I think steel trailers need some more protection and I think this is going to hold up very well. Obviously to test the time is going to be the real factor, but I am pretty certain that it's going to hold up for a long time. One more huge thank you to Flex Seal for sending me out their Flex Seal Max and also sponsoring this video. I love it so much. Their link is in my description. You can check them out. They have multiple different other kind of products. Uh, anything to suit your needs, really. Check them out and another huge thank you to them. While this trailer is drying, we can start working on these bunks. Now we already bought all brand new wood for the bunks. These are two by fours, pressure treated. Uh, I think they're 17 foot and the center one is about 14 foot, but we need to wrap them in something. And what I use to wrap all my trailers bunk covers in is a gator back. I use them for a couple reasons. One is you can install LED lights in your bunk covers to make them light up at night and in the water too. So it makes it super easy to load your boat, especially for these bigger pontoons. It's kind of hard to line it up and especially at nighttime when you can't see anything. It's very difficult, trust me, I've tried multiple times. But now I have lights in all my pontoon trailers, or at least my current pontoon trailer and my old one. Super nice, super cool. You can light them up while you're driving down the road. It's, it's very cool. And another main benefit that I learned about recently with this new pontoon purchase is that they are very tough. Now looking at this wood, <laughs> you can see it's kind of tore up. That is from the barnacles and shells that were on the bottom of my pontoon. It really tore up this brand new wood. And I can only imagine what it would have been like if that was brand new carpet. Now when I bought the boat, I went and picked it up with my trailer. My, my trailer is already fully done. It has the gator back covers on it. And it didn't do any kind of damage to it whenever it had those barnacles on it. And then <laughs> when we switched it over from this trailer to this current trailer with the wood, it really tore it up. So if this thing had carpet on it, I would be replacing carpet right now because it shredded whatever was hitting it. That is why I like Gatorback so much because it's soft, it's easy to slide off your trailer, you can light it up with LED lights, So it's so cool. <laughs> it's just a really awesome product all around. So obviously I'm doing it on this trailer and I'm going to be doing LED lights in it, but I'm doing it a little different. This trailer has LED lights in every single bunk. I'm only going to do LED lights on the outside bunks, save a little bit of money and show you guys can do different kinds of styles and different kinds of LED lights in them. I think it'll be perfectly fine just having the outsides lit. You can still know where you're going and it still provides a little cool feature for when you're driving. You can light them up and you'll be able to light up the whole side of your boat while you're towing it. Luckily we have all these cut to size already. We can just go ahead and start painting them. Actually we need to cut a groove in them for the LED lights in them paint them, and then we can start wrapping them in the bunk covers.
And as easy as that, the trailer is complete and it looks amazing. It looks really good. I like that I just did the lights on the outside. It creates like a new feature. And also you don't have to put so much money into LED lights. Now when all the bunks are lit up, it looks really cool, but this still provides the same feature and it's it also looks really cool too. I'm excited to see how it compares to having all the bunks lit up versus just the outsides. Also got these gator back bump stops in. These are a lot better than wrapping it in carpet. It has an absorbent too, so it doesn't like, that way it doesn't go in straight into bare wood when you're loading the boat. It creates like a nice little cushion so you're not scratching it up. I have the same ones on my other trailer. I love them a lot. And these ones actually have LED lights in them so you can have them with LED lights in them or you can just have them regular black. Gatorback carries all different kinds of covers for your bunk. They have six inch ones, four inch ones, different colors. Yeah, they have a lot of different options to suit your boat and helps keep your boat safe and not scratching it up or anything. Their link is in the description, you can check them out. But now the trailer is done, don't have to work on it anymore. <laughs> it's nice, actually I do have to replace the tires because the tires are pretty bad. One is actually has a hole in it. So replace those soon, no big deal. Everything's all wired up, brand new wires for it. Hook up the button, I just have to screw it in, turn it on and off so you don't have to have those lights on all the time. Some states are a little weird about the laws of different color LED lights while you're driving, so just be a little careful. The Flexil paint looks amazing. It <laughs> really fits the look of the trailer. Nice little flat tone with a nice texture to it. I love it a lot. It looks really good. Tell me you guys think, do you like how it turned out? Do you like the ladder? Do you like the LED lights? Like how I switch it up a little bit with the bunk covers, light up the outsides, keep the insides just regular. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. If you're not following me on Instagram, I post a lot of behind the scenes. I post some pictures of my daily life and when I'm at car shows and stuff, you know, you can check me out there if you want to. If not, I will catch you guys next week back on this pontoon and hopefully finishing it up. I have a new Benimi top and I want to repaint that motor and clean it up. And also what you guys have been requesting a lot is fixing up those pontoons and get them back to looking good because they look pretty rough right now. So that's all for next week's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next week.